Hello everyone, my name is Raven, and welcome to my What's Max Tutorial series. And in this tutorial, we're going to cover the difference between global versus local variables, as well as constants. Now in the last tutorial, we learned about variables, but we didn't really go over what the difference between global versus local was. And we certainly didn't cover constants. So in this tutorial, as I said before, we're going to cover the difference. So the first thing I want to do is put super strict at top. And we're going to create a constant. Now constants are variables that once they have a variable and have been declared, it can never be changed. So we're going to call this test int and we're just going to set it to three. Okay, so we could actually print this if you want to see. You control R and you can see that it prints three. Now this value cannot be changed. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cover the difference between global versus local. Now obviously, we're going to create two variables. Test1, which is an integer of 2, and local, which is test2, which is an integer of, say, 5. OK, so how do we show this difference? Well, first, we're going to create a function. And we will cover this in another tutorial. And we're going to call this print test. Okay, now inside of here, we're going to use our print command to print to our console, and we're going to print both of these values. Now, this value here can be used anywhere in our program. This value can only be used wherever it was declared, so like in types or functions. So if we create a test3 in here, and we call it an int, and we set this one to 5 as well. And there we go. And now if we run this, we're going to get an error. Expression int cannot be invoked. Oh, sorry. There we go. There we go. That's the proper error we were missing. Identifier test 2 not found. Okay, basically, uh, because test 2 was declared outside of our function, it cannot be used inside of our function. And we'll just put this right here so it will print. And now we're just going to comment out test 2. And then we're going to run it. And we'll get 2 and 5. So it prints our global variable. And it also prints our local variable inside of the function. OK, so that concludes this tutorial. In our next tutorial, uh, we'll learn about ifs, if statements.